everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is John, and uh, I'm your host here of the official Sticky uh, YouTube channel. And uh, if it's your first time uh, stopping by, please consider subscribing. Just go ahead and hit that button down below. I uh, appreciate it, and I'll uh, keep you in the loop for uh, everything we have going on around here. And uh, so today I'm going to talk a little more about the, uh, the whole tuning and aftermarket uh, kind of field for the Focus RS. Now, um, one of the companies I really went with for my ST was Cobb. And I have to say that I'm actually really disappointed with Cobb's response to the Focus RS. Now the RS haven't been out for the last three model years. That was 2016, 17, and now a limited production run in 2018. Uh, Cobb still has yet to really come out with any real parts for the RS. Now yes, they did make the access port, but again, that's just all programming. So I'm kind of disappointed they really haven't made anything. Now the ST, they had everything from intercoolers to uh, exhaust to plugs, pretty much the, a, a whole array of parts. Uh, they also had a bunch of stage packages. They had stage one, stage two, stage three, and uh, you know I went with Cobb with a lot of their parts for my ST, uh, mainly because they're just a well-known, reliable company to make quality parts, and uh, they're also well respected in the car community. So I mean, I did pretty much all of their parts for my ST. I did. Uh, I went with Cobb for their downpipe, the catback, for the intake, for the rear motor mount. Uh, the only thing I didn't do for them is the intercooler because I found a Steeda one for about half the price. Uh, so the performance wise, I did go for that, uh, but again I went with their access port for the ST and I uh, did a full straight, stage 3 package for the most part. So again, I've always been really uh, happy with Cobb's performance, but again I'm kind of sad that they really didn't really take the time uh, to make parts of the RS. So you can check their website, there's really not a lot available. They have an access port, they have a filter, that's really about it. Uh, so I'm very thankful that uh, some of these other companies have kind of stepped up over the last uh, year or two now and really made some uh, pretty phenomenal aftermarket parts for the RS. Uh, it's everything you know from Tune Plus, who's more a distributor, but his tunes are awesome. Uh, check out Adam again, I can't, uh, can't give him enough credit. Uh, the guy does some awesome tunes. Uh, you're also going to have everything from uh, Mount Tune. You're going to have stuff from ETS, from even Hennessy. Uh, there's some pretty, uh, pretty cool companies out there and I'm glad that they've made these aftermarket parts for the car. Because if they didn't step up and do that, uh, there really wouldn't be much out there available. Uh, that's a pretty sad thing to uh, to have. So anyway, you guys, let me know what you guys think about uh, Cobb's reaction to the RS. Because uh, quite honestly, I mean, I'm I'm pretty disappointed. Uh, I kind of feel like a Subaru owner. Uh, every year, I see that the SI is coming out and it has the same horsepower, same motor. So uh, it's just kind of my thoughts, kind of what I, you know how I feel. But uh, yeah, let me know. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, whole Cobb situation here. And uh, hopefully, maybe they'll uh, do some more for, uh, I don't know, for whatever else Ford's got coming down the pipeline. So, uh, yeah, some other stuff we are doing now is right now I'm actually just getting ready for tomorrow. If you guys don't remember, we are going to do that little uh, little meetup with Mr. Flying Gatto. So I'm just going through all my camera equipment, double, you know, double checking everything, charging all my batteries and stuff. So here's kind of my load out here. Give you guys a little sneak peek. And uh, so I got my GoPro, got my access port all ready to go, just making sure. Got my main camera back here with all my extra lenses and filters and uh, a bunch of extra stuff. And uh, got my backup bag over there, which is actually another digital camera. And uh, yeah, you just never know. Murphy's Law, I mean, you know, he might show up with everything. But if, uh, if my two cameras aren't working, it's always nice to have that third one there. And uh, so the main one I'm actually recording on right now is my Canon EOS Rebel T6. Uh, I got it on Amazon. Pretty good price. It's a pretty cool camera. Does a lot more than what I'm capable of doing with it because I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, there's terminology like ISO, yeah, I'm not a photographer yet, but I'm working on it, I'm getting better, I hope you guys like the improved quality, because uh, I believe this camera is taking much better video than, say, my GoPro was, so, anyway, uh, that's pretty much where I stand for right now, and, uh, yeah, so that's where I end today's video, and uh, again, guys, I always appreciate you guys stopping by here and checking out the video, and again, if you want, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button, and, uh, and again, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and please consider subscribing. All you have to do is hit that little button down in the corner there that says subscribe. And, uh, yeah, so, again, guys, we'll uh, catch you next time. All right, bye.